Good morning, students. Welcome to online class, DEO Nalgonda. Today we are going to learn about the what is inside the atom. All matter is made up of smallest particle. The smallest particle is considered as a atom. Okay. In Vedic period, the Maharshi Kannada is said the all matter is made up of a smallest particle. The smallest particle is called as Anu and Paramanu. Okay, later on the Democritus 442 BC before Christ, Democritus is also said matter is made up of a smallest particle. It is uh, it is consist of atom. Okay, that atom is divisible. The next, uh, uh, the John Dalton scientist is uh, is also proposed uh, matter is made up of a smallest particle. The smallest particle is uh, contains uh, atom. Okay, atom is indivisible. According to John Dalton. Okay. For example, uh, matter, everything around us which occupies space and has weight. Okay. In the universe, anything which, which occupies space and has weight, it is considered as a matter. Okay. For example, chalk piece, you see this chalk piece ma, this chalk piece is made up of a very small particle that is the powder, this chalk powder, it is also made up of calcium carbonate CaCO3, that CaCO3 is also contains the atom, that atom uh, is uh, not further subdivided according to John Dalton. Okay, John Dal Dal Dalton is proposed to atoms are indivisible particles. It is uh, atom is the smallest particle in the matter. They are made together. It gives the matter. Uh, all atoms are combined together. It gives the matter. Okay, next uh, scientists are uh, ex this. Scientists are observed the uh, some experiments on the atom. Okay, very soon the scientists are realized atom is also divisible by charged particle by loss or gain the charges. Okay, how they are uh, loss or gain the charges by the atom that is could not explain the John Dalton. Okay, so the next uh, division of uh, atomic particles, the atom is uh, divisible by three main particles. Okay, atom is divisible by three main particles. Okay, what they are means electrons, protons, and neutrons. Electrons, protons, and neutrons. Electrons are negative charged particle. Protons are positive charged particle. Neutrons has no charge. Okay, these particles are is uh, discovered. The J. A. Thompson is discovered the electron particles and Goldstein is proposed the positive charge particle and uh, James Chadwick the proposed the neutron particle. These three particles are in the atom. So these three particles are we called it as a subatomic particles. Okay, these three main particles are we called it as a subatomic particles okay by discharge tube experiment the scientists are discovered these three particles electrons protons and uh, neutrons okay electrons has a negative charge but negligible mass okay electron has a negative charge but negligible mass okay negative charge you need the negative charge you need the negative charge but it, it mass is very very small it is considered it is negligible okay what about proton it is a unit positive charge unit positive charge this mass is 1836 times heavier than electron mass okay proton mass is 1836 times heavier than electron mass okay and neutron has no charge zero charge no neutral no charge it is approximately similar to proton mass approximately similar mass of proton particle Okay, 
subatomic particle three main subatomic particles in the atom electrons protons and neutrons electrons are negative charged particle proposed by j thompson okay this electron negative charged particle uh, mass is very very small it is negligible mass and proton is positive charged particle this mass is 1836 times heavier than electron particle electron mass and proton mass if you are comparing the proton mass is 1836 times heavier than electron mass and neutron has no charge it is neither negative charge and nor positive charge but it is neutral but this mass is similar to this approximately similar to the proton particle so these three particles are in the atom uh, that is our scientists are discovered uh, these three particles okay so these three particles uh, how they are arranged in the atom okay these three particles are how they are arranged in the atom that is proposed uh, for example that is the arrangement of subatomic particles in the atom is called as a atomic model okay what is atomic model means uh, the arrangement of subatomic particles in the atom is considered as a atomic model okay the arrangement of subatomic particles in the atom how they are arranged in the atom that is considered as a atomic model for example if you are seeing uh, uh, when we are constructing building okay so we are dr first we drawing model okay first uh, in the in the building in the, in our house uh, kitchen he here it is replaced and uh, bedroom it is here placed hall it is placed that's like uh, same in the atom three particles is there electron proton and uh, neutron that particles uh, how they are placed in the atom okay that is uh, that arrangement of uh, subatomic particles in the atom is considered as a atomic model okay the first uh, uh, atomic model is proposed by j j thompson okay the first atomic model is proposed by j j thompson in 1898 okay in 1898 at the j thompson atomic model the neutron is not discovered okay only two particles is there electrons and uh, protons okay at the only electrons and protons two particles is there means the two particles where they are located in the atom that is proposed the first atomic model that is the j a thompson atomic model in the j a thompson atomic model j a thompson atomic model we also called as a watermelon model okay j a thompson model is also called as a watermelon model okay here all atoms are spherical in shape okay all atoms are spherical in shape Okay. According to J. L. Thompson, electrons, protons, how they are arranged in the, how they are present in the atom. Okay, um, the proton particles are the total positive charge particle effect. The total positive charge particle thinly spread in the atom, and electrons are embedded in a certain places like watermelon. In the watermelon, the total inside the red color fibrous mass is spread at the certain places black color seeds are embedded similar the red color fibrous mass like uh, the positive charge particle is uh, spread throughout the atom and uh, certain places like black color seeds how they are uh, embedded in the fibrous fruit red color fibrous fruit same that electrons are embedded in a certain places so this is we consider as a watermelon model or j thompson atomic model okay for example in the atom two particles is there electron proton okay neutrons are not discovered at the uh, proposed of at this uh, time of j thompson atomic model only two particles is there electron and proton 
proton particles total the effect of the proton positive charge mass is thinly spread evenly throughout the atom okay and next at the certain places black color seeds like electrons are embedded our watermelon fruit is there means uh, that is pear watermelon is spherical shape inside total red color fibrous mass is there at a certain places what is there black color seeds same like uh, atom also spherical shape inside the space totally is covered by spread by positive charge mass at a certain places what is there black color uh, electrons are embedded so that is proposed by the j thomson atomic model it is also called as a palm pudding model palm pudding model and pudding and it is uh, embedded so this is uh, the j thomson atomic model in 1898 this is uh, uh, disc uh, proposed uh, watermelon model it is a Watam, uh, watermelon model, J. Thompson atomic model. Okay. After J. Thompson atomic model, Rutherford. Okay. After J. Thompson atomic model, Rutherford did the experiment is uh, alpha ray scattering experiment to test the J. Thompson atomic model. Okay. J. Thompson atomic model is it right or wrong to test the J. Thompson atomic model? Rutherford is did the experiment is alpha ray scattering experiment. Okay. In alpha ray scattering experiment, it is a radioactive chamber. Here too we passed H e plus 2 particles, it is called as alpha particles. It is the gold fuel around one circular screen. Inside it is coated with the zinc sulphides. Okay. In alpha ray scattering experiment, Rutherford is did the experiment uh, to test the J. Thompson atomic model. Okay. In this uh, alpha ray scattering experiment, it is a radioactive chamber. In this radioactive chamber, the radium element is uh, ra ra radium element is released the alpha particles. This alpha what are alpha particles means H C plus two particles. Okay. What are alpha particles? H C plus two particle. Okay. Uh, H plus two particles uh, has a positive charged particle. Okay, H plus two means, for example, helium your sima, helium, two electrons, two protons, two neutrons. Helium atom contains two electrons, two protons, two neutron atoms. Okay, by lossing of two electrons, removing of two electrons, what the left? Two electrons, two protons, and two neutrons. So in the atom, what are the particles? Is a two protons and two neutrons. So two protons and two neutrons is a means. So what is the charge is effect? What is the charge exhibit? This uh, particle uh, proton has a positive charge, neutron has no charge. So which uh, charge is uh, uh, which charge is exhibit? Positive charge particle. Positive charge is exhibit. 
So, this particle, this particle is considered as a H C plus 2 particle. It is the alpha particle. What is this particle? Alpha particle. What is alpha particle means H C plus 2 particle. What is H C plus 2 means loss of 2 electrons from the helium atom. Helium atom contains 2 electrons, 2 protons, 2 neutrons. By removing of 2 electrons, it contains 2 protons, 2 neutrons. Okay? Only 4 particles is it, 2 are proton particles, 2 are neutron particles. Proton is positive charge, neutron has no charge. So, this uh, uh, total He plus 2 is exhibits the charge is positive charge. Okay? So, uh, this particles alpha rays, alpha rays contains alpha particle, that alpha particle has a charge is positive charge. So, this positive charge particle is hit on the gold fuel. Okay, gold fuel is gold fuel means gold ray. Gold fuel is made up of gold atoms. All gold fuel throughout the fuel, all are gold atoms only. All atoms are spherical shape. Inside the space, all are positive charged mass, and at a certain places, what is there? Electron is there. So, throughout the fuel, throughout the atoms is there. Okay, total fuel, all are atoms is there. All the inside the atom, total the positive charged mass is spread. That positive charged mass is spread throughout the, and at a certain places black color series is embedded. Okay. Black color electrons, uh, black color series embedded like uh, electrons are embedded. So, it is positive charged ray. This positive charged ray is hit uh, on the gold fuel. Uh, the root of it is expected. What is root of it is expected? No alpha particle is uh, no alpha particle is penetrate through the gold fuel. That is expected the root effort. But it's what happened around what is a circular screen is a this is the zinc sulfide screen. This is circular screen inside we have to coating with the zinc sulfide. The zinc sulfide is the fluorescent material. Okay, what is fluorescent material and if any charged particle is hit on the fluorescent material, it is made it glow. Okay, that particle is made it glow. Okay, same like our TV. If you if you are see inside the when we are switch on the TV, that uh, screen that screen is the fluorescent material. Okay, inside uh, the charged particle, the electrical charge is uh, circulated. That it is hit on the screen, it is made it glow. Same like uh, fluorescent material. The inside uh, zinc sulfide zinc sulfide paste is we are coating. So the zinc sulfide paste, if it is uh, affected by the charged particle it is made it glow, some glowings are occurred. Okay. So, on this, uh, in this experiment, the root of it is absorbed, root of it is absorbed, the most of the glowings are occurred on the zinc sulphide screen. Okay. Most of the glowings are occurred on the zinc sulphide screen. Uh, most of the glowings occurred slightly, some deviation and some deviation low, it is uh, some glowings are occurred on the zinc sulphide screen. How it will be happen? According to J.A. Thompson, if atom is like this, if atom is like this, no alpha particle is penetrate through the gold fuel. Okay. No alpha particle is passed through the gold fuel means uh, no glowings are occurred on the zinc sulphide screen. But most of the glowings are occurred on the zinc sulphide screen. Why? Because most of the alpha rays is passed through the zinc sulphide screen, it is made it glow. So, uh, this one we can easily understand by, uh, if suppose if you are throwing stone, okay, if suppose the there uh, solid wall is there, okay, is it go out, uh, it is uh, that stone go out of the wall? No, why because the solid wall is no space to allow the uh, stone, okay, suppose that wall is, if suppose that uh, we have to Fence, fence with big gaps, okay, fencing with big gaps, uh, we are throwing the stone, okay, what is happening, throw that big gaps, that stone is get out and uh, outside it is uh, go out, it is go out outside, it is go out, so that's like uh, um, the gold fuel is most of the space empty, okay, that's why most of the alpha rays is pass through the uh, jinx, pass through the gold fuel and reaches the zinc sulphide screen. If suppose here you see ma, it is the gold atom, okay, it is the gold atom. Here it is the positive charge particle, okay, here touching one atom, okay, in this atom inside what is there, positive charge mass is there, okay.
okay positive ray it is touches the positive particle what is happened it is get back okay positive 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 to a same same charged particle same charged particle they are move towards uh, forward no so they are get back but okay suppose if uh, in this atom if electron is touches this uh, electron uh, if electron is touches this alpha ray what happen this alpha particle if it is touches the electron particle what happen there only it stops that atom is that uh, ray is collapse that uh, stops the uh, moving okay that like uh, is uh, that like is expected the uh, rutherford but what is happen uh, real actually most of the alpha rays is pass through the gold fuel and reaches the zinc sulfate screen and made it glow how they are uh, how they are formed means uh, most they are uh, they are expect uh, they are escape from the positive charge and negative charge okay the alpha ray particles are escape from the positive charge effect and negative charge effect and it contains back gaps okay so in the atom according to j thomson is there any gap no total mass in atom all are spherical shape inside the total space is positive charge mass at a certain places electrons are embedded according to j thomson so this like atoms are is there in the gold fuel all are gold atoms only all the inside the space is uh, positive charge mass and certain places electrons is there so there is there any chance to this positive particle this alpha ray particle move towards to the um, penetrate through this uh, gold gold fuel and reaches the zinc sulfate screen no so this like uh, atom is not exist more number of alpha rays is pass through the gold fuel means uh, most of the space in the atom is empty okay that is proposed the so this like uh, the root of fuel is uh, so this like root of fuel is proposed in 1909 so root of fuel is proposed uh, atomic model after complete after did the alpha ray scattering experiment most of the space in the atom is empty okay and positive charged particle placed at center is called as nucleus electrons are revolved around the nucleus electrons are revolved around the nucleus like planets revolved around the sun okay so that's why it is also called as a planetary model and this model only is leads to root of what is that great goes to the leading of nuclear formation so it is also called as a nuclear model okay root of what model most of the space in the atom is empty the positive charged particle is uh, settle at the center of the atom uh, it's called nucleus electrons are revolved around the nucleus like planets revolved around the sun so this is uh, proposed the rutherford atomic model okay what he is assumed means uh, suppose uh, gold gold atom this like is there okay if suppose uh, atom at the center positive charged particle is there at a certain places electrons uh, so there is a gap is there 
here positive charge these dots are positive charge at the center in the atom so if suppose the alpha particle is escape from this uh, from this positive effect and here around the electron is there positive particle and electron particle so they are penetrate through the gold fuel suppose if alpha particle is uh, little near to alpha uh, little, little little near to positive charge particle it is slightly deviated okay if alpha particle is alpha particle positive charge particle if it is little near to the center which is uh, positive charge particle it is slightly deviated okay if suppose if electron is there means uh, it is uh, there only stop if a uh, positive charge particle it is directly touches the positive charge particle it is get back okay so this like uh, is assumed the the root of it is assumed the atomic model um jayatanth atomic model total the space inside the atom is uh, positive charge particle and uh, at the certain places electron is it but that is uh, this did uh, alpha ray scattering experiment is not uh, that uh, that experiment is uh, this experiment is not uh, correct for the like uh, jayatanth atomic model atom that like is i mean this uh, 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 alpha ray scattering experiment is not occur this like so that's why he is uh, more he is uh, assumed the rutherford is assumed the atomic model is uh, most of the atom most of the alpha particle is penetrate through the gold filaments most of the space in the atom is empty and uh, positive charge particles are and negative charge particle negative charge particle very 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 small they are the uh, negligible mass positive charge particle is heavier heavy particles generally heavy particles are settle at a center and uh, light particles are moving okay light particles are moving and heavier particles are settle at the center like planets revolve around the sun so this like he is assumed and uh, this root of our atomic model only is uh, leads to nuclear model so that's why uh, it is also called as a nuclear model and a planetary model okay in this also drawback is there in the root of our atomic model also drawback is there what is the drawback in the root of our atomic model means uh, here you are see ma proton at the center electrons are revolved around the po positive charge particle okay so here how positive charge particle and negative charge particle two are same charge particle same energetic particle but which is working electron is moving continuously but proton is not moving it is settle at the center so here according to acceleration according to acceleration of physics Uh, any accelerated particle is uh, moving circular circular orbit it is slowly lose the energy okay so here proton positive charge particle electron is negative charge particle it is moving continuously around the proton particle so electron is slow continuously moving means slowly it lose the energy slowly it lose the energy means so uh, slowly it is close towards to the proton so electron should fall into the protons nucleus atoms are collapse but atoms are collapse no no atom either created or destroyed but it can be changed from one form to another form okay a atom mana srushtinchalemo nashtam chale but it can be changed from one form to another form so atom contains two particles protons and electrons protons set, set at the center electrons are revolved around the proton particle so electrons are continuously revolving means continuously revolving means it slowly loses energy na but uh, how the electron is not uh, lose the energy without uh, uh, to reach the proton particle so why the atoms are stable without collapsing that is could not explain by the rutherford okay rutherford is said protons at the center electrons are revolved around the sun uh, revolved around the proton particles according to planetary model he said but what happened protons so electrons so same charge particle same energetic particle but which is doing work electron is doing work protons are not uh, doing it is settle at the center so slowly what happened which is doing work that is slowly loss energy that is move close towards to the uh, proton particle so it is pulls up this protons are pulls up if it is 
continuously revolving slowly large energy means protons have more energy than electrons so protons are pulls the electron so protons are pulls the electron means electrons are should fall in should fall into the nucleus should fall into the nucleus atoms are collapse but atoms are collapse no no atom either created or destroyed but it can be changed from one form to another form so that is uh, why it is happened means so how it is happened means so that rutherford is could not explain so this uh, to overcome this rutherford draw, uh, drawbacks the next uh, atomic model is the niels bohr atomic model that is we learn in the next section in this section what we learn subatomic particles matter matter is made up of uh, atoms atoms are three main subatomic particles is the electrons protons and neutrons electrons are negative charged particle protons are positive charged particle neutrons has no charge these particles are arranged in the atom j thomson is proposed the first atomic model in 1898 that is a watermelon model okay to test the watermelon model the j thomson atomic model alpha ray scattering experiment Rutherford is did the experiment is alpha ray scattering experiment. In this alpha ray scattering experiment, uh, we observe the most of the alpha rays is passed through the gold fuel. So this is leads to most of the space in the atom is empty. Okay. So that's like uh, he assumed Rutherford is assumed that another model uh, like planetary model and a nuclear model. So in this also drawback is there uh, that overcoming drawback is next uh, Niels Bohr atomic model is there. Uh, okay. Thank you. Good morning students, welcome to online class DEO Nalgonda. After complete the first section, the second, first section, in first section we learn about the subatomic particles, J Thompson atomic model and Rutherford atomic model. In Rutherford atomic model drawback is there, how the charged particle is uh, without radiate energy, how it is circulated around the proton particle, that is could not explain by the the Rutherford atomic model. So, in the Niels Bohr atomic model, this Niels Bohr atomic model, uh, the protons are po positive charged particles, they are settled at the center of the atom. Electrons are revolved in a circular orbit. Okay. Electrons are revolved in a circular orbit. Around, around the protons, the electrons are revolved in a definite path. As long as the electron in that path, no energy either lost or gained. So they are also called as a, this, uh, this path is they are also called as a stationary path, stationary levels. Okay. So which, which shell is near to the nucleus that is uh, less energy, issue, which shell is part to the nucleus that has a more energy. For a, first you see more, electrons are revolved around the nucleus in definite path as long as the electron in that path in that path no energy either lost lost or gain so they call stationary shells or energy levels okay they are represented in represented with n values are 1 2 3 4 so on and also they are represented with K, L, M, N, so on. Niels Bohr is uh, discovered the shells. The shells are around the nucleus. The electrons are revolved in the shells around the nucleus. These shells are stationary shells. Okay. As long as electron in the shells, no energy either lost or gained. So that's why they call it as a stationary shells. These shells are represented with uh, capital K, capital L, capital M and capital N so on and these shells we are denoted with small n. Thus values are 1, 2, 3, 4 dash dash. 
So, n equals to 1 it is the first shell that is k and n equals to 2 second shell that is L and n equals to 3 that is the third shell M and n equals to 4 that is the fourth shell N. So, this like uh, uh, Rutherford is drawback is overcome uh, in the Rutherford no shell is there only protons are only pro, uh, electrons are revolved around the protons without uh, uh, without any fixed path. But in the Niels Bohr atomic model the Niels Bohr is proposed electron revolved in a certain definite path in that uh, path as long as electron in that path no energy either lost or gained. So, that is why we can get the energy levels that energy levels are called stationary shells and they are represented with uh, k element and this uh, denoted with uh, n n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3 and n equals 4 that like so on. So, this is uh, proposed the Niels Bohr atomic model. Next, protons are settled at the center of the atom, electrons are distributed in the shells. Okay, first shell, second shell, K, L, M, N shells is there. In that uh, shells, electrons are uh, revolved, in the shells only electrons are revolved around the nucleus. Okay, so how electrons are distributed in the shells? Okay, the maximum number of electrons in each shell, maximum number of electrons in each shell ok n is shell number ok for example in first shell ok what is n value 1 so the maximum number of electrons in each shell is 2 n square ok the maximum number of electrons in each shell in given shell ok so that is 2 n square what is n means shell number Suppose in the first shell n equals to 1, so 2 into 1 square, so 2 into 1 it is 2, ok. 2 number of electrons maximum, 2 number of electrons we fill in the first shell. After 2 completed, after 2 electrons completed in the first shell, next we have to go for second shell, ok. So, next you take second shell, what is n value 2, ok. So, 2 into 2 square, 2 in 4, 8. So, the num maximum number of electrons in the second shell, how many? 8. Here, first shell, 2 into 1 square, 2. In the second shell, 2 n square, n equals to 2, 2 into 2 square, that is 2 into 4, that is 8. And in the third shell, n equals to 3, 2 into 3 square, 2 into 9 that is 18. So, that is like so on if suppose fourth shell n equals to 4, 2 into 4 square, 2 into 16, 32. So, that is like so on. So, on in each shell how many maximum number of electrons we fill uh, means the 2 n square. So, first shell 2 electrons only we fill maximum accommodation for the first shell only 2 electrons. After complete the 2 electron after filling the 2 electrons in the first shell next shell next electrons is going to the third shell second shell after completing in the second shell we fill only 8 uh, we fill 8 electrons after completing the 8 electrons in the second shell next two electrons is a means that electrons is going to the third shell. So, that is like uh, uh, electrons are distributed in the shells around the nucleus. So, this is the distribution of electrons in the shells. Okay. Next uh, electronic configuration ma. what is electronic configuration mean the arrangement of electrons in the shells that is considered as a electronic configuration. For example, if you see hydrogen, okay. what is the hydrogen? Uh, it, it is atomic number is atomic number is 1 it has one proton particle and one electron particle ok. It has one proton particle, one electron particle that proton particle is settled at the center ok, settled at the center of the atom. In the first shell ok, in the first shell 
one electron is present this like okay and next to helium atomic number 2 it has two protons it has two electrons two neutrons two protons two neutrons are at the nuclear on the at the nucleus in first shell two electrons so this like uh, you suppose lithium atomic number is 3 it has three protons four neutrons three electrons three protons four neutrons at the center in first shell two electrons okay the maximum number of electrons in the first shell is only two that is <coughs> one two next one more electron is there now that one more electron is entering to the second shell so this like the electrons are distributed in the shells atomic number ma what is atomic number means uh, the number of protons in the atom is considered as a atomic number number of protons in the atom is considered as a atomic number it is represented with the z the atomic number is represented with the z so what is atomic number means the number of protons in the atom that given atom if suppose any atom is there means how many number of protons in the nucleus that number is considered as a the number of protons in the atom is considered as a atomic number next mass number number of proton sign number of neutrons in the atom okay it is represented with a number of protons it is considered as a z and number of neutrons it is represented with the n n represents number of neutrons z represents number of protons in the atom atomic number so z is indirectly it is atomic number and a is a mass number atomic mass number a is atomic mass number z is a number of protons indirectly it is atomic number atomic number plus n n is the number of neutrons so what is atomic mass number means uh, number of protons and number of neutrons in the first section all i said protons neutrons are approximately similar mass electrons are negligible mass electrons are very very electrons are very small particle it has negligible mass so we are uh, very point uh, we are leave a electron particle electron particle mass is very negligible only we consider the total atomic mass is consider only the proton particle mass and neutron particle mass so the atomic mass number the atomic mass number a is equals to number of proton particle mass and uh, neutron particle mass so number of protons is z and neutrons are n so the the sum of the protons and neutrons uh, mass is equals to atomic mass number okay so writing the symbols how we it represents the symbols here it is the symbol of atom here what is this uh, capital f capital f face represents the fluorine it is a symbol of fluorine and it is uh, 9 it is atomic number and 19 it is the mass number okay so here x is the symbol of atom z is the atomic number a is the mass number so we can represent it, uh, any symbols this like so hydrogen helium lithium beryllium uh, at least 30 elements uh, symbols we have to learn so total 118 elements is this so far scientists discovered 118 elements at least 
uh, 30 elements symbols uh, perfectly we have to learn in the 30, el 30 elements uh, symbols 30 atom symbols uh, hydrogen atomic number mass number helium atomic number mass number lithium atomic number mass number that's right so it, here uh, how we can represent it, that is atoms symbols uh, here x is the symbol of atom and z is the atomic number a is the mass number for example here you take fluorine f is the symbol of fluorine and 9 is the atomic number and 19 is the mass number okay so here number of electrons is a means so if it is neutral atom f is neutral atom if a atom is neutral atomic number it is equals to atomic number number of protons same atomic number and number of neutrons it is a, a minus z okay what is a a is a z plus n okay what is a z plus n if suppose we want n and means this z it is comes minus a minus z a is the mass number z is the atomic number so this like uh, we can calculate and we can find out how many electrons and how many protons and how many neutrons in the given atom okay uh, number of electrons if it is neutral atom it is equals to atomic number number of protons it is neutral at uh, number of protons uh, uh, how many proton particles in the center of the atom uh, that is uh, atomic number and number of neutrons is a means uh, mass number minus atomic number okay atomic mass number minus atomic number so this like we can calculate the subatomic part electrons proton and neutron particles in the atom okay so now you see here ma fluorine atom uh, number of electrons it is neutral atom only so number of electrons how many atomic number how much 9 so number of electrons 9 next number of protons it is atomic number it is equals to atomic number what is atomic number here 9 next number of neutrons okay number of neutrons it is a mass number is a and 9 is atomic number is z so a minus z so 19 minus 9 19 minus 9 and he is 10 so how many neutrons in the fluorine atom 10 okay how many neutrons in the fluorine atom 10 so this like uh, suppose c6 12 okay c6 12 so this is the symbol i am writing here so can you guess what is this symbol what is this atom c represents carbon here 6 is atomic number 12 is the mass number okay we can easily say 6 uh, uh, number of electrons neutral atom neutral atom is mean 6 number of electrons 6 number of protons 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 and 6 number of neutron particles okay so that's like uh, in the textbook there is a table is a number of electrons number of protons number of neutrons and certain uh, elements is given hydrogen helium lithium so that's like uh, we can observe how many number of electrons number of protons and number of neutrons in the atom okay hydrogen 1 electron number of electrons 1 here your sima k shell l shell m shell and n shell okay uh, hydrogen number of electrons 1 it is uh, that one electron is uh, going to k shell so there is a la is there first we fill the low energetic uh, shells then it is next enter into the next energy levels so which shell is k and lmn this k shell is a near to the nucleus so it has a less energy the next uh, shell is l so the next energy level is l and next uh, shell is m so next energy level is m so first uh, uh, less energy carbital is less, less energetic shell is completed after 
next energetical level. So, first K shell completed after we next we enter into the L shell and next we enter into the M shell and next we enter into the N shell. So, first K hydrogen is 1 electron, it is going to first shell and next helium, 2 electrons in the helium, it is uh, the 2 electrons is entering into the first shell and next lithium, 3 electrons is there, the 3 electrons uh, total 3 electrons we have to distribute in the shells, first K shell, K shell or maximum number of electrons accommodated by only 2 electrons, 2 enter into the first shell after 1 electron is left, that 1 electron is entering into the second shell L and next beryllium 4 electrons, that 4 electrons first 2 electrons is enter into the first shell and second shell is 2 and next boron 5 2 electrons in first shell and second shell how many electrons remaining 3 why only k shell is maximum number of electrons is accommodated only 2 but l shell how many electrons maximum number of electrons how many it can accommodate 8 2 n square rule ok 2 n square rule it is first shell it is second shell first shell 2 into 1 square 2 electrons only second shell 2 into 2 square 2 into 4 and 8 electrons in this second shell how many maximum number of electrons we fill in the second shell 8 electrons up to 8 electrons we fill in the second shell after first two k shell 2 electrons and l shell 8 electrons after the ninth electron in the l shell next electron is entering to the m shell so m shell maximum number of electrons we fill 18 so this like the electrons are we are distributing in the shells. Suppose oxygen you take more, ok. Oxygen atomic number is 6, ok. Oxygen symbol is 6, oxygen symbol is O this atomic number is 6 ok neutral atomism is 6 electrons is it ok this 6 electrons how is distributed in the k shell and l shell m shell ok so first 2 comma sorry oxygen atomic number is 8 8 number of electrons is there that 8 electrons we are distributing in the we are distributing in the shells first shell k shell 2 electrons we are filling after completing the first shell next electrons enter into the second shell. So, remaining how many of one uh, first shell two completed after remaining six electrons is enter into the second shell. So, that is L shell. So, simply we write it as a uh, two comma six this two comma six represents the two electrons in the first shell six electrons in the second shell. So, simply form we can write it as a electron distribution simply electrical uh, configuration simply we are writing this like ok. For example, sodium, sodium symbol is Na, this atomic number is 11, ok, this atomic number is 11, how many electrons neutral atom is there means uh, 11 electrons is there, that 11 electrons are distributed, first shell maximum number of electrons 2, second shell maximum number of electrons how many 8, 2 comma 8 uh, only 10, remaining one more electron is there that electron it is not entered into second shell why because second shell is only accommodated by only 8 so the ninth electron is entered into the next the last electron is entered into the third shell 2 comma 8 comma 1 so the 2 comma 8 comma 1 three shells is represent two shell, two electrons in first shell eight electrons in second shell one electron in the third shell so this is a simply electronic configuration so if suppose uh, you see argon symbol is AR, the atomic number is 18, number of electrons is 18, ok. First shell 2, second shell 8, no extra electron is added into the first shell and second shell. Why? Because only the maximum number of electrons in the first shell is 2 and the second shell is 8. So, first two shells completed, how many over? 10 is over the remaining 8 electrons is entered into the third shell ok the remaining 8 electrons is entered into the 
torsion so that is 2 comma 8 comma 8 so this like uh, we are uh, filling the electrons in the shells it is a simply form next electronic configuration 10th class you can learn on the electronic configuration but in the 9th class simply form we are uh, distributing the electrons in the shells okay so this like uh, we will have to draw the diagrams like also how means uh, for example proton center first shell 2 so you keep two dots i am drawing to oxygen okay uh, two shells is there first shell two electrons second shell six electrons okay i draw one circle around the proton it contains two electrons okay two dots the two dots represents two electron next uh, second shell this second shell contains six dots okay the second shell contains six dots so this six dots are represents the six electrons in the second shell so this like up to 30 elements we are writing up to 20, uh, 30 elements we are write, drawing this like uh, diagrams and uh, this like simply form uh, the electronic configuration distributing the electrons in the shells next to valency mark okay what is valency means so the combining capacity of an element is considered as a valency okay here oxygen first should take beryllium beryllium be it contains four electrons it contains four electrons protons at the center first shell two electrons second shell two electrons four electrons means sir, two comma two okay two comma two first shell only two electrons sir, maximum it is filled after remaining two electrons is entered into the second shell so we write it as a two comma two so this uh, this is the protons at the center and this is uh, first shell two electrons second shell two electrons valency electrons so uh, here these two electrons we call as a valency electrons okay what are valency electrons means so uh, the number of electrons in the outermost shell it called as a valency electrons the number of electrons in the outermost shell is called as valency electrons okay so here first uh, how uh, it, the outermost shell electrons only it may chance to lose, lose or gain okay in uh, it is not possible but only outer outer shells only we are removing or adding if we remove the electrons or if we uh, adding to the electrons that is only possible so uh, in this outermost shell only two outermost shell only two electrons is there the two electrons we call it as a valency electrons here oxygen you see ma 2 comma 6 2 comma 6 first shell two electrons second shell six electrons okay the combining The combining capacity of an atom is considered as a valency. The oxygen combining capacity we can express. Before that one we have to know octet rule. Okay, before that we have to know octet rule. What is octet rule means? Eight number of electrons in the outermost shell is octet rule. So if any atom is, uh, if any atom is follows the octet rule, it gets more stability. So this oxygen you see two comma six. First shell, second shell. What is the outermost shell? Second shell. Second shell, how many electrons is there? Only six. So, how many is there? less to octet? Two more electrons. So, two more electrons, if we, this oxygen it has, it gets stability. So, that is why two more electrons is needed to this oxygen. So, the combining capacity. So, it can, in the chemical bonding lesson, it may sharing or it may 
uh, taking the electron from other atom so it forms a bond so that's like it taking the electrons or it is sharing the electrons how many it maximum it is chance to taking and sharing two electrons so the valency of this electron the combining capacity of this uh, oxygen is two okay the combining capacity of this oxygen is two so here you see ma these two electrons are lost this uh, inner shell two electrons it is represents the helium we have the noble gases stable gases helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon these are all are stable gases if any atom is uh, resembles this like uh, uh, distribution of electrons in the stable gases that atom is get more stability okay here helium you see helium only two electrons helium atomic number is 2 it has only two electrons the two electrons are only enter into the first shell so that is the helium atomic helium stable ikkada here you see the beryllium 2 comma 2 okay 2 comma 2 so if it is lost this two electrons it is resembles to helium so that's why that beryllium is lost two electrons and it is uh, resembles to the first shell okay Res resembles like a helium so except to helium remaining all in a uh, stable gases are octet configuration in the outermost shell except to helium remaining these all gases are octet configuration if you are observing neon neon you see ma atomic number 10 neon atomic number 10 so 2 first shell 8 second shell 2 first shell 8 second shell first shell only it a maximum number of electrons is only 2 second shell is 8 so total number of electrons how many in the outermost shell 8 so this like you observe all these ga gases all these substances except to helium these all substances are in the outermost shell 8 electrons is there it follows the octet rule that's why it is more stable substances okay so this like uh, this like the substances are either lost energy lost the electron or gains the electrons um, lost the electron or gains the electron it get octet configuration so that's why the combining capacity of an atom is considered as a valency Okay, next the last one is isotopes okay in the nature the element is occurred in the different forms uh, different atomic mass forms okay for example carbon it is occurred in the 12 atomic mass carbon it occurred in the 13 atomic mass and carbon it occurred in the 14 atomic mass okay the carbon atom on the nature it can occur in the three different masses carbon 6 12 carbon 6 13 carbon 6 14 all are carbon atom only chemically same but what is the mass is different 12 13 14 okay here number of electrons 6 protons 6 neutrons 12 minus 6 that are 6 here number of electrons 6 protons 6 atomic number proton 6 equals to atomic number neutrons what happened atomic mass number minus atomic number so 13 minus 6 and 7 okay and next here number of electrons 6 protons 6 neutrons 14 minus 6 okay 14 minus 6 it is 8 so neutral particle is extra it is re, it is represents the it is respect it is responsible for the increasing of atomic mass on the nature the uh, atoms certain atoms are available in the different uh, atomic mass these substances are called as a isotopes same atom only but atomic mass is different uh, atoms are available on the nature that substances are considered as a atomic iso isotopes okay hydrogen also has isotopes Hydrogen also has isotope 1H1, 1H2, 1H3. Okay, 1H1 means uh, protium and 1H2 is deuterium and 1H3 is the tritium. 
Okay. Here electrons you see 1, protons 1, neutrons atomic mass number minus atomic number. Mass number is 1, atomic number is also 1, 1 minus 1 and 0. No neutrons in the proteum, in the hydrogen atom no neutrons, only electrons and protons. And next to deuterium, electron is 1, proton is 1, neutron 2 minus 1 that is 1. In the tritium, electron is 1, proton is 1 and neutron is 3 minus 1 that is 2. So, this like the neutron particles are responsible to increasing the atomic mass. Okay, some elements, some atoms on the nature, it is different atomic masses. This are substances, this formations, this occurring of, this occurring of different masses of substances is considered as a isotopes. Okay, isotopes. Same atom only, but it is occurring in the available in the nature in the different atomic mass. That substances are that uh, uh, atoms is uh, called as a isotopes. Okay. Chlorine, chlorine atomic number 17, it is occurred in the nature 35 atomic mass and 37 atomic mass. If you see my elements list, chlorine atomic weight is 35.5. How it will get a 35.5 atomic mass means uh, that is uh, the nature that is the isotopes. The atomic number of chlorine is 17, the atomic mass is 35, it is occurred in the nature 75 percentage and 37 atomic mass uh, of chlorine it is occurred in the nature 25 percentage. Okay, so the average of this uh, occurrence of chlorine 35 and 37. Okay. 35 into 75 by 100 plus 25 into 37 into 25 by 100. So, this total calculation it gives 35.5. So, that is why we are writing the chlorine atomic weight is 35.5. These isotopes are very useful uh, in the nuclear reactors and uh, some medicines field we are using. Iodine isotope it used as a thyroid treatment of thyroid and cobalt isotope is used to treatment of cancer. So, uh, in this lesson, in this section we are learning about the Niels Bohr, uh, we will complete the topics or Niels Bohr atomic model, the Niels Bohr atomic model and the distribution of electrons in the ele distribution of electrons in the shells and uh, how electrons are arranged in the shells, K shell, L shell and M shell valency and the number of uh, writing the symbols atomic number mass number and writing the symbols and the valence and last one is isotopes okay thank you